as well as learning any new thing that comes to my way and as uh, i believe that many people do not Hi everyone thanks for tuning into D education so this is a platform where i bring designers and artists from different aspects to talk about their design education and how their design education has shaped them into better designers on this episode we have srinjal with us hi srinjal welcome to D education hi tej really wonderful to be here with you so you're doing a really great job man you know bringing more awareness about design education It's so lovely <laughs> Thank you so much, Sinjal. So, how was your day? Yeah, it was really awesome. Went well. That's great, Sinjal. So, so, if you could give a brief about yourself to our viewers out there. Yeah, sure. Hey, everyone. This is Sinjal Jain. So, basically, I am a freelance illustrator. And before this, I was working and in, working in Infosys as an experience designer. So, uh, coming to my interests, I am more passionate about sketching people's stories. and making them a very colorful uh, you know gift product where i get an immense response when they open up that gift and you know those memories stay with them forever so basically uh, i'm more interested and more inclined towards art and research as well so uh, ux helped me uh, to grow in my art career as well so i would say both go hand in hand and um, coming to my personal interests as well i'm more interested in uh, learning new languages coming to um coming to art i i my style is kind of a very uh, decent watercolor and very light colors are used which is you know which, which gives me very cool cool feeling and even the people who you know uh, receive the receive the artworks they say you know it's really wonderful how they feel so i'm more passionate about learning new languages as well as you know uh, as well as learning any new thing that comes to my way and as uh, i believe that many people remove l from learning when they start earning and i think i kept i, I kept i kept managing and kept that l stable so that you know the growth never comes to stop for me Thank you so much, Srinjal. So, what was your journey into art and sketching? How did you start? So, it was basically uh, from my eighth standard, I guess. I was I was more into sketching, and I used to sketch every time. So, my mother pushed me a lot. She um she whenever we went to Hyderabad, she introduced me to a a lecturer. He was an art lecturer from a university. so um i most of my summer vacations from then were spent there itself in hyderabad so uh, from 8th 9th and 10th standard and probably my inter yeah inter as well all those went all those summers went under him so i thought i, I never felt that art could be a career as well and uh, then shortly got introduced to design as well both of them you know hand in hand i managed and somehow got in there uh basically i gave an entrance uh, exam for uh, for my for my college which is jnfu so jawaharlal nehru architecture and fine arts university so these guys have a, a personal entrance exam where uh, thousands of people uh, write uh, i mean give their entrance uh i somehow managed to clear with a good rank it was around 20 or something if you remember then um, then moving forward um i got to know that okay this is what i wanted to do and yeah i can uh, i can pursue my career happily happily in this field and though they were uh, my parents were you know ready to push me and uh, wasn't a burden for me to you know pursue my career smoothly um my first year of college mostly like every design in art college it was based on foundation the the thought is basics of design and basics of art and the uh, principles and what not so it's similar with every college then 
I started um, I started learning more by my personal experiences rather than college, I would say. Since it was an open gate university, I preferred moving out and you know um, staying uh, together. I preferred learning more through my experiences. Like in first year, I remember, I just um, took up one, one project from an ad agency. They found me skills at appropriate and uh, I, I just uh, gave, gave them with, with the best I could. And that's how uh, my career you know, uh, started and I, I gained a little more confidence in that. And um, after college hours, during my first year, I used to go to a Montessori school to teach, to teach kids. So um, two hours of the session was really wonderful. And uh, I just continued for around six months. So after college, I had to continue with teaching. And um, after that, those sleepless nights of assignments, as well, everybody knows that. So during my second uh, second year, yes, second year, we, we learn a lot. We, you know, grow during our college days. We learn to make new friends. And I luckily made a group, but I was, I was you know, mingling with everyone, knowing the cultures, how, how do they, how do they uh, live and all. But during my second year, I made a really good friend. She is Vidya. We, we were kind of uh, working friends, I would say. We used to roam around in the city, know about the city rather than stay in college because art is what freedom and um, we, we loved the freedom we got in the college which helped us in nurturing ourselves through our own experiences. So when we came out, um, we used to always roam around in the city and uh, sketch a lot. So that was the main, um, I would say, main uh, experience that I had, which was we never, we never, you know, wasted a lot of time. Our friends, I remember our friends calling us for parties, hanging out, and we never, you know, uh, we always try to escape from. We always try to escape from them, uh, and uh, we managed to roam around the city, be it a mall or be it a, a place, a monument. Hyderabad is full of monuments. I would say it's. Uh, then we used to roam around and uh, and think think a lot. Mainly, I remember one instance where we went into curse words, and it took a product and we're thinking a lot for around two hours and we came up with uh, okay when we were hungry and we went out to a restaurant and we, we were like okay uh, why why is the spoon this way why is the plate like this and we we thought a lot for hours together so second year went like that and um, in the second year uh, we, we backed up a project on um, I got an opportunity I would say where me and my friend, both of us, uh, worked for a docu-fiction. Uh, it was an award-winning docu-fiction movie uh, for a social cause, which was based on a farmer suicide. So we were hired as a storyboard artist. We were hired as a storyboard artist, but we never knew how storyboarding works. So I would say we just went with the flow and we accepted. The director taught us storyboarding, I would say. He was uh, more kind and, and uh, you know, polite to teach us every aspect of storyboarding. And that's how we learned a lot. So after that, I, um, I got one more opportunity of uh, teaching in a school. So teaching kids is not so easy. I would say uh, I, was, um, I was teaching a class of ninth standard as well as 10th and 8th. So, Teaching art and design, it's like we can't teach you guys, but uh, we can mold your brains into creative part. Like uh, we can make your thinking process more strong rather than teaching art. So I focused on that area. So my whole academic year went there. I mean, I was a part-time teacher during my third year. And, uh, and I also learned uh, a lot from my students, I would say. Every every student came up with new ideas and uh, new artworks and you know new concepts. 
I would say uh, it's more of uh, we learning from them than they're learning from us. So moving forward, during our third year, mm -hmm, yeah, uh, during our third year, we started um, uh, we started this uh, uh, main we we started this main project where you know uh, we were assigned to give out give out to our best. Um, and we had to build up a perfect uh, album, I would say. Uh, not, it's not a thesis, but it's a main project. So I chose to, you know, uh, I was more attached to social causes back then and now as well. So I chose to design an um, advertisement and an app for an application, which was based on a uh, soldiers uh, market sold soldiers uh, families uh, any anyone how how can anyone donate to the market soldiers families so basically that was my concept which i worked on so um i i you know uh, that was when i got in touch with ux and ui i would say uh, it was really wonderful when i worked on uh, well, I, I researched a lot for that. I focused on ma uh, research mainly and also uh, the, the apps, uh, the existing apps back then. Uh, and somehow I managed, I self learned everything and managed to uh, create this project. And uh, moving forward, yeah, we one fine day, as I told, me and my friend used to stay uh, in Rome around in the city. We got a call from an, uh, from a company saying that they need illust live illustrators for uh, their uh, exhibition at Hitex uh, Hitex Exhibition Center. So we just uh, you know with the, we we never told no to any opportunity that came ahead. Somehow we told okay we will do it, but we weren't sure what was what was our work there. We somehow managed, and uh, uh, by the end of the day. We got to know that uh, it was a wonderful opportunity for us to express and to express our artworks. You know, uh, we were we were hired for three long days for ten hours at the uh, exhibition center. It was a it was a um, lab company. We never knew even they would require us. So I would just say that art has immense immense opportunities out there. So anyone who, who's willing to pursue, please move ahead. Please move forward and don't look back. So, uh, so that project, you know, was a bit challenging as you have thousands and thousands of people in the exhibition staring at you, as well as uh, the foreigners and, and the local people as well. They come to you and when you have to create a product, you know, um, you have to, they had their products ready. We just have to sketch them in a very creative way in front of every one. So we used to sketch around um, 10 to 15 illustrations for the whole the whole long day and in a present uh, in front of all the audience who was roaming around. So it was a good experience back then. Now, um, yeah, up to this, you know, we we randomly checked within the internet and thought, okay, our college is not going so well. We, have, we, stopped, we did everything possible. And now it's like, we are tired, what to do next? So we just, uh, one fine day she called me, I'm giving an interview to strangers. Are you interested? Um, I said, okay, we can give it, we can give a try. So she took me, she took me along with her and the company, um, you know, it was a product based company. So somehow moving forward on the day of the interview, we were waiting in the lobby and to our astonishment, we found our seniors who passed out. We found a senior sitting there. We were like, we just came for an interview for a random experience because we haven't completed our degree. So nobody could rather give us a job. So we went with the flow and we just thought, okay, let's give the interview. We knew that we wouldn't hear mostly because our seniors are uh, our com com competitors. So somehow we gave the interview and uh, coming 
and when then gave when we cleared the test, we got to know that it was it was kind of guilt for us because we took away their job where where they were in need. But then okay, we thought uh, maybe we were deserving it or something. Then um, to our uh, surprise, we both got hired there. And we were working while we were giving our uh, exams in the college. We had a good bond with the team there. And that's when we got to know about EY and UX. So we pushed as the, the head the head there pushed as a lot, saying that you guys have more, more potential. So please kindly work on your skills and just move, grow, keep focusing on your self-growth. So, you know, we, we find many, many, many guardians and many godfathers in our journey. So I would say I have many godfathers, um, not mentioning one. I've, I've really faced uh, many uh, supportive, pers- uh, supportive uh, systems where uh, people, you know, push us a lot. So, uh, he was the person who pushed me and told that um, you, you have that potential, but, you know, you just you're not more more sure about yourself. So that's when I got to know. Okay, let me give a better try, and then just move forward. And during the placements, uh, I tried my best, and I got into Infosys. So it was like a first time. It was the first time when Infosys came to our college, and I I you know I was I was not sure whether. I should apply for the job or, you know, continue with my freelancing. But somehow I thought, okay, let's give it a try. Again, I went with the flow and both of us got through. And this was a wonderful experience, I would say, of my whole art journey. Coming towards, um, I I recently worked on many uh, I would say, I recently worked on many uh, my per- many personal projects where you know I focused on more of uh, design thinking and as well as more of uh, more of illustrations as well. So I, since beginning, I'm just focusing on these two. So I would uh, I would say many people during these pandemic days, the last year of uh, COVID, you know, went very. Uh, People used to enjoy with the families, and I was very busy in the home, and you know, meddling with three, four projects. Uh, I got a very good uh, opportunity for helping out, uh, helping out uh, nurses. Uh, where it was a U.S. based project, U.S. based company, where they hired me for, for design thinking and as well as the UX process, many other. Uh, UI uh, UI uh, solutions as well. So I was uh, mainly focusing on the how how nurses you know manage their time during pandemic as because they feel very restless you know. Uh, so it was mainly how they how they manage the shifts in different hospitals. They had this project, uh, this whole project where you know they focused on. Uh, maintaining the nurse, the timetable of each and every nurse. So it was a wonderful experience with them as well. So moving forward now, nowadays, I focus only on illustrations because that's where uh, I found my forte. And I, I found that I love doing this and, um, and I love teaching. So um, recently I did, a, I, I, I often do workshops where uh, I focus on teaching kids. Um, this was a, there was an uh, opportunity for me where I could teach uh, 30 of students. They were, um, they were uh, the line is often, not, not exactly often, it was, an, it was run by an NGO where I had an opportunity to go and uh, conduct my workshop there. It was basically a coffee painting. So this, I, I just love uh, teaching and uh, uh, being with kids and as well as uh, making memories for people. That's all I would say. Just uh, focus on your, uh, on your gut and it will work. Just go with the flow. Thank you so much, Sinjal, for taking us through your wonderful journey. So as you mentioned, uh, 
it was an open gate campus and you had explored a lot of stuff about art and sketching outside your traditional you know the college education so how was your experience with that and what do you suggest to the young beginners on this we so don't definitely recommend it go and do it but we wanted to know from what's your side of story by doing that sort of experiment okay so um i would say when people you know have that passion inside them to go out and explore their selves they would learn the more because practical training impacts a lot rather than uh, sitting and uh, you know uh, you know sitting and staring at the paper inside the closed wall so there many artists have an art block where they face a lot of issues for inspiration we all need inspiration to start up any project so i would say take a break and go around the city okay if it's not possible right now maybe later uh, we can uh, we can just give a give a creative head a break and go out roam around because we have many 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 weird indians and lovely people out there to get inspiration from so i would say practical experience and facts a lot just just open up your mind and don't limit your thoughts because sky is the limit and that's all i would say thank you so much srinjil so you have been teaching these kids a lot about sketching and all visiting various schools and other things so what was your yes, experience yes. in doing that voluntary thing and how do you communicate this to the young creatives to participate in such sort of early you know art evangelism so i would say many many people you know have have that uh, creative gene inside them but they are not exposed to so when they attend such workshops or you know explore themselves they get to know a lot about themselves and uh, art doesn't only help in their creativity or or, or their art uh, their uh, mindsets it also helps a lot to focus on themselves and become a better person moving forward you know we never know which student comes up with a very brilliant idea we we never know anything so i would say many students you know uh, have that have that potential in them it's um, my experience i would i would say that um, i mainly noticed that students the next generation has um, brilliant brilliant amazing ideas in their heads and they are very very curious to learn so i so many many people are are uh, you know moving towards design we haven't seen uh, during our time this huge amount of uh, students moving moving towards design nowadays it has become their you know okay it the career opportunities that they have is more clear for them so i think uh, design will take take the play, uh, take the head role in their life as well whoever is more creative and passionate about it that's really wonderful srinjal and also the viewers who are watching it if you guys are in and around andhra pradesh you could reach out to srinjal for such voluntary yes. things like presently we can't do but uh, definitely after post covid uh, yes. you guys all should uh, connect together and do such sort of great evangelism for these early young kids yes. so srinjal yes. let's talk about your freelance aspect and how was your shift from you know working at a design agency and then now running your own businesses how is all these things going around and with this pandemic like situation what's the impact that it has created on you so i would say it is a win situation for me because many you know i design illustrations for mem- uh, gifting so since people can't uh, buy a gift and give uh, buy a gift from a mall or buy a gift from a store and give it i i, I took this opportunity and um, turned gifts into digital products so that's where uh, this boom started was, and uh, this marriage is going go, this marriage season you know uh, many people approach me for their wedding illust- wedding cards and wearing videos so it's it's more of a win to me pandemic has given me more opportunities to back up and uh, i i you know focused on my my skills and grew and uh, somehow managed to run my business well and i kept myself busy with many projects as well as uh, 
learning as aspects as well so that i i managed to stay with the market uh, market uh, as i man- so that i managed to stay with the going uh, ma- the market value and market standards as well that's all i would say thank you srinjil so like as i know you like viewers srinjil know almost like eight languages so srinjil if you could take us through this wonderful passion of yours of you know learning new languages and how did it shape you as a better artist or designer okay so it started with um, my living area i would say i was i was i was i'm from rajasthan but i was living i'm living in andhra pradesh so i of course know hindi english and uh, telugu as well then then since my family you know one of our first cousins uh, are gujarati so i know gujarati and kachi as well so uh, then i i had a passion of uh, you know learning some more uh, something be it any be it any uh, language or be it anything whatever came my way i thought okay i would take up and learn so i had this free time during my third year of college so from a uh, Three o'clock, or uh, from uh, morning six o'clock to you know uh, ten o'clock. So I used to I enrolled in uh, the French language course, and then I got to know okay art. Uh, you know Paris. I I already knew that Paris is a head for arts, but uh, you know the the uh, the teachers more about the cultures there. So I enrolled in a course uh, in um, in Alliance Francis as well as in. Uh, Ramakrishna Math. So um, I, you know, I learned a lot about their cultures, and that's how I shaped everything in, and 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 turned into a better artist as well, knowing their cultures, how do people uh, enjoy art there, and uh, somehow I managed uh, to learn sign language. Lastly, where uh, I don't know why did I learn that. i had a i had more more concern for social causes i would say so this also inspired me and when during my free time uh, i i managed to go to the class and and uh, i almost traveled around 30 kilometers on the weekends to learn sign language and uh, it 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 somehow you know created more empathy in me and uh, i started noticing uh the change that i have in me because it's because of uh, knowing more more uh, people around you knowing knowing their uh, the, that they are they're not we couldn't call we cannot call them this label but uh, they have a very good heart in them they can they can speak the only language that they have and you know many people uh, focus on uh, their passion there as well so this there is an institution in hyderabad uh, def so this is uh, this is the place where i studied uh, sign language they thought as uh, the the deaf and dumb people thought as sign language so i would say i couldn't have a better experience than this every every person there was immensely talented mm-hmm. that's so wonderful srinjil thank you for sharing this wonderful piece out there so that people who are interested could really go and uh, learn all this so let's conclude this show by you comparing yourself with srinjil when she was quite young and she doesn't know what exactly was art and design and comparing you now with all these wonderful experiences that you had what are the major teachings or the lessons that you got so Srinjal, before knowing all this, was really introverted and really very silent person as well. I never came up and spoke like this uh, in any any in any platform. Not even uh, to my you know community. I was very silent kid. So after moving out from my place and after exploring a lot, this helped me shape. myself as a independent individual so i would say uh, just come out of your comfort zone and explore yourself because the the changing generation is really 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 immense and we have to 
we have to, you know, build ourselves more stronger to face anything that comes ahead and, and you know, be, become a very self-independent person to live our life happily. Thank you so much, Sinjal, for sharing all these wonderful insights with us. We are looking forward to host you again. And I know it's a debut of yours, but you had spoken wonderfully yeah. and I hope it inspires a lot of people. <laughs> guys, I'll be attaching Sinjal's Instagram handle so that you guys could DM her. Sinjal is always open for different collaborations and a wonderful chat. So thank you, Sinjal, yes. once again. Thank you, Paige. All the best.